great way to free up space on your hard drive on your Mac that I think you don't see a lot on YouTube I, I've never seen it come across it so I wanted to show it to you guys today if you go to about this Mac go to storage if you're like me you know this is always big and full and it's not always easy to figure out where you can get space but if you go to manage um, you know you do all these kind of things there's lots of YouTube videos about that but something I found that I thought was clearing up a lot of space for me was messages here so if on messages here you've got like a lot of space I had I had 10 or 12 gigs uh, being taken up maybe you have more but if you click on messages it's gonna give you this long list of files uh, that have been attached you've sent back and forth between your friends and things and some of them can be really big files if you make sure you order them by size right here it's going to give you the biggest file size now I just cleared out this for me and so my file sizes are small but when I first started this uh, these file sizes were huge they're like 500 megs and several hundred megs per file and that really adds up now what I think is really tricky about this is if you just scroll down this list you might think that there's no way if I delete all of those files that it's going to clear up a lot of room. Maybe you only see a couple hundred meg files and then everything gets really small like this from there on out. But check this out. I've just been doing this. So right here, this is like how much total is going on. And when I first did this, I just took everything from the biggest file size and I took it all the way down to 10 megabytes. I just selected all of those, but since I since I've been doing this for a while, I'm just going to do the one. So these are real small files, like one megabyte files, right? And it doesn't look like there's a lot of them. But when I first did this and I hit the delete button, now for me, it's telling me it's only going to give me 157 more megabytes free of storage. So that's not a lot. But I just did this and like the first couple of them was like two gigs. And then the next couple of them were like half a gig. And so I just in like 15 minutes here took this 12 gigs down to 1.1 gigs. Okay, so that that's a lot. That's that's clearing up 10 gigs of space in like a couple minutes. Now when you hit delete, check this out. This is what's really tricky. This is why I think not a lot of people are doing this. If you hit delete, you think I just deleted all of my files with one megabyte or more, right? But look, it like went and found a bunch more. A bunch more so that was what was happening to me over and over again so I just keep taking it down all the way to anything of a meg or more hit delete there's another 131 but for you it's gonna be like a couple gigs every time hit delete deletes those give it a like a second or two to refresh look there's more it's like reaching further back into the cache and pulling out more so I think that's why not a lot of people are doing this because they take a quick look at the list and they're like, well, that's not really going to make a dent. But the more you do it, the more it like pools up ones for you to select and delete. So I've got like almost everything deleted down to a megabyte. So I took 12 gigs of storage down to just 785 megabytes at that point. So try that out. Keep deleting it and um, could clear up a lot of space depending upon how big your messages is. Hope that helps.